Hey everybody, I'm Isaac Raymond. I'm going to be your instructor for this course. I uh, just wanted to take you through uh, what we're going to be seeing in this class. So, um, so that it looks familiar, so that you know what you got to do each week, uh, and so that you know you can know how to contact me and things like that. Uh, first place you want to go is obviously the syllabus, and I won't bore you by reading through every word. That's something you can do, obviously. Um, so go ahead and check out the syllabus. You know the important things that students want to keep in mind are the the weights of the grades. Okay, there's homework, that's 25% of your grade. Those are the Newton assignments I'm going to show you in a second. We have discussion boards, not every week, but we have discussion boards. Uh, there's quizzes, there's tests, and then there's two projects. Okay, I think that's the big, big stuff for, for the syllabus, but you can obviously go ahead and take a look. But let's go back to home. What you want to do each week when you sign into our course is scroll down to the week that we're on. And you can see the dates right underneath for the assignments too. Like September 19th is going to be the first due date for this assignment. But um, So click on the assignments uh, and then it should, it might create a Newton account for you. I guess I'm not sure what it looks like on the student end of things. But. Okay, uh, I th so right now it's showing that you, you would have to purchase, do not purchase anything, okay? Do not purchase anything in for Newton. That's something that Doral College takes care of, okay? Um, let me see. I'd have to go to the end. I'm in a student, uh, like a preview student view, so that's why it's not letting me go in. Let me change the instructor view. Just want to show you what Newton looks like. Uh, Newton is where our homework is completed each week. Okay. So if you scroll down here, uh, these are your homework assignments evaluate and simplify absolute value expression, scientific notation. There's a quiz each week too, um, but with all these, you should be able to click them, and then we're going to have it set up so that Newton will um, automatically create an account for you. So you can hit preview. I mean, I, I, you don't hit preview. It should automatically pull it up, and this is what it looks like. It gives you a problem to solve. You know, you plug in negative 7 in for M, negative 8 in for N, and then simplify take the absolute value, which means make it positive, square that result, and then subtract 8 from it. And whatever your answer is, type it in there. Okay? I don't know what it is. I just winged that. <clears throat> and then you can submit. There's there's a more instruction button where Newton can help you out, but uh, the role I'm going to be playing for you in the course is that I'm very happy to be making videos to help you. Okay? So if, like week one, for example, if you're having trouble with negative exponents and simplifying exponential expressions, look for a video. If you don't see a video, you can message me and let me know that, hey, I need help with scientific notation or whatever one you're stuck on, and I'll be very glad to make a video for you, and I'll post it underneath here. But if you click that, you'll hear me. So we're asked to simplify this expression, talking you through uh, some particular problems, okay? Um, so yeah, homework and quiz each week. Later on the course, uh, we're going to have discussion boards. Um, Here's the first graded discussion board. It falls under week two. Just make sure to check out the discussion board rubric, rubric, okay? Because the rubric says uh, that we need to have our initial post, which means our first post that addresses the prompt. We need to have that done by Wednesday, okay? Sorry, Thursday, Thursday. Whoa, Thursday. We need to have it done by Thursday, and then uh, two responses to classmates are required for full credit. Okay, so those are the big big details that students often miss, so just watch out for that. Um, okay, so that's where you do your grade discussion. You click on them, and it'll tell you what to do. Uh, there might be multiple options. You just choose one of the prompts, you know, respond to that prompt. You should be all set. And then later on in the course, you'll have a test. It's just a link, just like your homework, just like your quiz. It's a link that you can click and take. Um, there's a review center. You'll want to click that and use that to review your test before you take it. And then I'm uh, looking for the project. The projects in this course are just project are just um, where you have to create three problems that are that are similar to what we've been working on in Newton and in our textbook. Okay, textbook is linked in the syllabus, by the way. But um, yeah, the projects are where you have to create your own questions that are types of questions that are described like a logarithm question, something we have to do at the end, exponential equation questions at the end. You know, and there's examples for the here. Let me just fight it quicker. That's project rubric, project one, instructions. Look, there's an example right here, too, you can click so you can know exactly what we're looking for for the project. Okay, I think that's everything.
let me know if you have questions. I'm happy to work with you. Um, I've, I've done this course for a while. Um, at the time of me making this video, it's our first time using Canvas, but I've, I've used it for other schools, so I'm pretty comfortable with it. Um, you know, you can message me by, I think, uh, if you click people. Oh, uh, no, wait, you, you might not have these buttons. Yeah, if you click people, you should see eyes agreement on there. You can click my link and send me a message, or you could use the inbox button and type my name in. But happy to work with you. Just let me know what I can do to help you, okay?